That should be drum the drawhead, which means on that bit, and you can't see it now, is the Urquhart Castle, which is quite famous. And midges are out. Midges are those teeny tiny flies, like fruit flies, but they do bite. Um, I gladly figured out they are not really interested in me because, as I think, it's because because I talked to other vegans before is yeah because I'm vegan they don't like the blood of the vegan <laughs> so if you should ever come to Scotland in the summertime and especially go to the west coast maybe go vegan the week before and while you're here <laughs> maybe they just leave you alone a little bit more it's so cool it's nearly 11 and we're high enough in the altitude that it barely gets dark these days and even though the sun is behind those mountains over there, I can still see the sunshine on the water. It just looks magical. Um, I do like that it stays light for very long. But what I don't really like is that it also gets light like by half three in the morning. And I don't have the proper curtains for it. So I keep waking up a lot of times in the morning. I really wish that with my videos you get a feeling of experience this all together with me because I would just love to just show this amazing place to as many people as possible and just have lots of people with me doing those adventures but for some reason these days I find it hard to meet people but um, yeah I, I do miss people and sometimes I do miss hitchhiking because that is such a cool way of meeting strangers especially because you can't predict who's picking you up it's more of a fortune or they yeah they decide it's not up to you who stops you decide if you want to jump in but um, I did that for quite a while all over Europe I didn't do that when I was traveling in North America but when I was in Europe I did that a lot and I have to say I never had a very creepy or uncomfortable situation like I had people that I didn't like too much but that was it so um, so I think there are more good people out there than bad ones and I think in Scotland there, there are just so many really lovely people who just mean you good and they do detours for you or offer you to pick you up or they are mechanics and offer you if you ever break down just call them and they will come and help you yeah or other things and um, at least this is all what I experience and I find myself quite lucky but at the same time, I think everybody can experience this if they are just open-minded enough and in a positive thought for it.
Okay. Hi there, and welcome to another video of mine. Thank you so much for watching my videos, for subscribing and for hitting the like button. That really means a lot to me. I think especially in these days. So, um, I thought I'd just gonna have a little honest talk with you. <laughs> and I'm actually a little bit nervous about it. GPS signal lost. So one of the reasons I've told you that I haven't sent out a video lately was that I have been busy and traveling about, but so this week, um, the last couple of days, I've tried, I guess the first time in my life to literally don't do anything, even not to procrastinate. Um, and that is because I found myself pretty burned out and I do know that I have OCD which is obviously just a symptom um, and I also knew that I was a perfectionist but I did believe that perfectionism is also just like a little symptom and I might only have this in in my work area but yeah, I just recently found out that uh, perfectionism can turn into really an illness and it seems that I do have it in all areas of my life, that I'm trying to hold on to some sort of control because I feel like I don't have any. Um, and so there we come to also welcome to van life. What I meant by this was constantly driving around looking for a new, beautiful, safe spot where you have to figure out where to find what and to be able to do this, constantly putting stuff away. And these days the leisure centers don't even have the showers open so I can only go swimming in the loch or river or I can go to friends. Ooh, I couldn't resist to go into the water, it was just too nice. It is so amazing here. Beautiful spot. I just couldn't go swimming because the current is pretty heavy. But I wash my hair. I'm happy. Um, obviously it affects everybody differently, but I do believe that more people actually have perfectionism and don't know this, they just see like, yeah, I'm trying to do my best, whatever, or yeah, I'm just stressed and <sighs> I don't know, like, there is so much to it. And I highly recommend to have a closer look into it. I have listened to a lovely podcast um, by accident and it just was eye-opening because I could see myself so much in it. So um, what it is for me is actually I do believe that because I don't have currently any routine repetitive daily life circumstances like a job I'm going to every day, a place that I'm parked up and I know I live there, uh, friends that I see from time to, di from time, to time, um, my partner who is not living currently with me, he's just once in a while coming up because his job is occupying him in the south which was not planned like this so um, we both hope it will very soon change and we can live together again and just try to build up a more consistent life I totally don't mind to live in a van I love my van but we need a base and yeah more structure in the life and because of all that I guess I feel very unsafe and feeling unsafe even though you have a roof on top of your head and you have food on the table is 
yeah exhausting so is perfectionism is it's it's very exhausting and it's sad especially if you realize it's in all areas of your life that you yeah catch yourself of trying to control how you breathe what you eat when you eat how you walk who you talk to uh, that you have to answer everybody because otherwise they will not like you anymore and then you will be cut out or um, how you do things what you shouldn't do what you should do and so on like it's it's a devil's circle and yeah so um sitting here and presenting myself feels whew, a little bit strange um but i think it is a very important topic and i guess as i said before more people are actually suffering from that and then they might gonna get a burnout and they don't even know they just think like yeah i've worked too much Yes, life is beautiful and nature is beautiful in its own non-perfect way. But sometimes it can be so hard, so hard without a visual reason. because I'm so afraid of doing something wrong, of not being perfect, I procrastinate a lot of times and I miss chances to do really cool things because I just cancel myself out from beginning. Oh, I will not be good enough or whatever I do there, it will not be good, good enough. Other people have done that before and no one will see my stuff. and. Um, even if some people see it and they tell me they like it, it might still not be yeah successful enough or good enough to like say hey this is what i'm doing and um i started youtube and i was very positive with it and i still like it or love it like i think it's a very good medium to just capture moments and situations and the beauty of life and there's so much beauty out there i like all the time could take pictures over pictures and videos over videos like my my hard drive is full and that was also a thing my way of like i need to do something to be worth like i need to because i don't have a job right now and i do live this lifestyle so i need to use it and i need to drive to one place after the other place and i need to see this and i need to take pictures from everything and I wasn't able to just be and enjoy what I ever... Sorry, there's a big bumblebee in my van. <laughs> I'm sorry, bumblebee. I hope you will find your way out very soon because I really like bumblebees. So if you hear something in the background, I'm sorry, it's a bumblebee. <laughs> um, so this kind of drive to constantly do something to be worth something which is also kind of a way of procrastinating, of doing what I really might want to do or might need to do or to just, and that's very important, rest. And by rest I don't mean just sit down and get occupied with watching a movie or reading a book or whatever, just like be in a moment, be with yourself allow yourself to rest um, whatever you do or don't do um, love yourself for who you are <laughs> I always say that I love myself because I think I do I'm pretty sure I do but I don't treat myself well I think um, because I always think I can do better and be better what drives my perfectionism is the fear of being a disappointment and therefore being rejected. Um, be healthier. And be, I don't know, just in general, be better. <laughs>
than what I am and who I am instead of just appreciating who I am um, in that very moment. Um, it doesn't cancel out that I can achieve more but it also means I can appreciate what I have right now and who I am right now. So um, yeah, I think that in total <laughs> probably should be all that I wanted to say. Mm. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching and I would love to have you here soon again. Thank you. I don't know if you heard about the theory that in the Loch of Loch Ness, like deep down, because it's very, very deep, I think that's the reason why I would be very scared to go in, even though it's very shallow here. Um, there is a kind of like tunnel towards the sea. So in that way, monster of Loch Ness could come in and out and therefore disappear. And if you're a Outlander fan like me, there's also the other theory. There's a time portal down there, like a stone circle underwater. So the dinosaur, the monster, actually came from a different time period. And I think that's a super lovely and funny theory. Well, anyway, I think that should be it for today, today and I hope you enjoyed my video. I wish you a lovely day, maybe good night if you're also watching this in the evening. And I hope I will see you soon again. Please like this video and subscribe for more. Thank you so much. Bye. And a new try. See if I like myself now how I look. <laughs>